All right, so I adjective stamp. So I sent it to your WhatsApp, Joshua. You can get it. I can probably do the reading and you identify the adjectives for me. I'm going to read it and you just follow along. All right, you can see it. You see what I have sent to you? when you're ready. Yeah, you're looking at the first page. That's it, the first page. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first sentence says, science is an exciting subject. Tell me the adjective. You remember what we said about adjectives? An adjective is a word that is describing something. Is the word science describing something? No, please. Okay. So let us look at the sentence again. Science is an exciting subject. What word is describing? Exciting. Exciting. Good boy. So science is the noun and exciting is the adjective. Next um, sentence, beach practice is fun, but can be tiring at times. This sentence has two adjectives. Beach practice is fun, but can be tiring at times. Tiring. Tiring, good job, that's one adjective. What's another? Training. Beach practice is fun, but can be tiring at times. So the adjective will be the word describing beach practice. Beach practice is the noun. What other word you can see in that sentence that's describing beach practice? Act. Thanks. Beach practice is fun. You see where it says fun? Yes, please. Beach practice is fun. So fun is an adjective. Is um fun is like describing it, right? Yeah. Alright, Joshua will be successful at school because he is hard working. There are two adjectives in this sentence. See, Auntie speaking that into your life. Auntie expecting great things from you. Joshua will be successful at school because he is hard working. Hard working. Excellent. What is the other adjective in that sentence? Successful. Good boy. When Amari realized that his goat had eaten all the cabbages in Granddaddy's garden, he was angry. That's a long sentence. I did that on purpose. I stretched that sentence to write out, and that long sentence only has one adjective. Can you tell me what's the adjective? Angry. Good boy. See, Auntie was trying to trick him, but can not get him tricked. All right, we're moving on. We're going on to the next sheet now. Good boy. The scrambled eggs and toast that Shania made for breakfast tasted delicious. Tommy. Delicious. Delicious is the adjective. Well, tasted will be the verb delicious. And another word there that's before eggs. What word comes before eggs? Scrambled, right? So scramble is describing how we prepare the eggs. We can have scrambled eggs. What's another way we can prepare eggs? We could have had fried eggs, poached eggs, boiled eggs. Good boy. 
So all those words would be adjectives because they are describing how the eggs are prepared. Okay, last sentence. Are you sure it is wise to spend your bus fare on ice cream? There's one adjective in this um, sentence. Are you sure it is wise to spend your bus fare on ice cream? This one is a little tricky too. I'm going to tell you when we're done. Mm -hmm. Spend. Is spend describing what I'm doing or is spend an action word? Spend. What is spend, a word that is describing or is spend an action, something that I'm doing? Uh, action. Action, good boy, so spend is a verb. The word in there that is describing is wise, right? Wise, wise means like smart, clever, that kind of thing. So this is the adjective, but the reason why this is a bit tricky is because we don't see the noun that wise is describing. What it really means to say is, are you sure it is a wise idea or a wise decision to spend your bus fare on ice cream? But instead of actually putting the word decision or idea, I put it. Are you sure it is wise to spend your bus fare on ice cream? So sometimes you can have it that way as well, right? So that was good. You're coming along very good with your adjectives. Everybody think so? Yeah. Thumbs up for Joshua and his adjectives. I'll be going off a little more adjectives work, but in a different way. All right.